What's up, Internet? Welcome back. This is Linzer22. So the Atari VCS has had a bumpy road since it was announced. It started from some exciting news to a surprise crowdsourcing venture, all the way to the actual designer not getting paid. But before I get into it, let me just remind you guys that this is a forum discussion video. So if you plan on getting one of these things and you have some plans and you'd like to share that down below, go ahead and do that and subscribe for more content. Now, before we talk about what this product is going to be, I just wanted to say that the fact that they have not paid their designer of this system sounds very unethical and it surprises me. In fact, it makes it hard for me to even put any money towards this company. But to be fair, at the moment, we don't have 100% information. We only have a one-sided take on what's going on. Maybe uh, um, they, they're scamming this designer out of money. Or maybe the, the designer and the Atari company could not agree on anything and they wouldn't pay Rob Wyatt because maybe Rob Wyatt was saying, we have I, I'm going to design this. And they were like, no, we're not going to pay for that. And, you know, we don't know the actual agreement. Although I would probably put my m money on more that Atari just doesn't want to pay Rob Wyatt, but we'll see. So if you plan on purchasing this thing still, even though Atari hasn't really done that much to really make us believe in the company itself, I'm just going to break down what the Atari VCS seems to be, given all the information they give us, which you can take it for a grain of salt, but we'll see. So according to the information that this website, pocketlint.com, has um, put together in an article that was released in, on September 30th, it lists what the currently announced specs are going to be. And from what it says, the CPU is going to be an AMD Raven Ridge 2, GPU is going to be a Ryzen, RAM is going to be 4 gigabytes DDR4 for the 400 system and an 8 gigabyte DDR4 for the 800 system. A really quick thing about the RAM, the reason why a 400 system exists is because when they had to speak with Walmart, apparently there was some talks about Walmart saying that they had to release the console at a price that they wanted to sell it at. So they had to make the 4 gigabyte model exist just for that particular reason, just so the Walmart version can exist. Now storage is going to be a 32 gigabyte eMMC and it will support an external hard drive, which you're probably going to want to do because eMMC is actually not that fast in terms of read and write speeds. So you're going to want to get a, um, a an external hard drive just for that reason. Now, I know the Switch has eMMC, so it's not that big of a deal. But at the same time, it only has 32 gigabytes anyways. So, I mean, if you really want to, you can totally stick with 32 gigabytes, but that's not that much. But let's be real. You're probably not going to put too much on this thing because I don't know how worth it this item is. Now, in terms of connections, it has HDMI 2.0. It has 2.4, 5 gigahertz, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, gigabit internet, four USB 3.1 ports. It is HDCP 2.2 compliant. I have no idea what that means. So if you know, let me know down below. The operating system is going to be a Linux OS based on Ubuntu. Of course, that is going to be their quote, Atari OS. So yeah, it's going to be Linux. And the rest of the information is kind of meh, take it or leave it. It claims that on the 800 system, it will be able to support 4K re resolutions, but, but the 400 system will not. I personally, I'm like, whatever's with that. Everything can play 4K. I just want to say one thing, and that is, if you're getting the system, you need to know that this is just a PC. This is a Linux-based PC, so it's not going to come with any Windows OS or anything like that. You would have to get that on your own, but apparently you can install that. So just keep that in mind. If you are still interested in this thing, just know this is not a console anymore. This is just a computer, and because you're technically in early access, it's pretty much just a computer with an empty OS and you're just going to help them kind of poke and prod on things. You're not going to really get much out of this. This is essentially a RetroPie, but it's based off x86 instead of an ARM architecture. So you can literally do whatever you do on a PC on this. Now, my question to you guys, since I don't actually really know the difference between like a Ryzen or any of their GPUs or CPUs are using in this and how it compares to, for example, the Xbox One base model to maybe the Xbox One X. If you guys have any idea on where this falls on that, I would love to see your comments down below. This would kind of shed some light and give me an idea of where this price tag lands if it's um, crazy expensive or not that bad. So far, I'm looking at it, the, the price tag is kind of crazy expensive. I feel like that's a price you, you're going to end up paying if you want a 
what they call an official Atari product. Although, like I mentioned, this is just a Linux box. So if you plan on still buying this thing, um, not, and, and not just because you want the controllers, because I'm not going to lie, the controllers do look really nice. But of course, that's coming from a, a third party. It's just, it's just a company that Atari's working with. So it'd be really cool to just buy those separately, but that's beside the point. What I was saying is, if you plan on getting this, make sure to brush up on your Linux, learn as much about Linux as you can, because you're going to need it. Linux is actually kind of fun. I actually really like going through Linux. It really forces you to really learn how computers work, because you really have to go through the command lines. Well, I mean, there, there are... Linux OS's with GUIs, and this one of course will have a GUI, but if you really want to take advantage of Linux, you got to learn the command lines. So my advice to you guys, if you look at the Atari VCS, and even though the ethics are not there, you still want it, just note that it's not a console, it has no exclusives, we don't even know if it's actually going to come out, but hey, if it does, it's just going to be a Linux PC that kind of looks like an atari from your past so it brings back those vibes the one you might get might come with the really cool controllers might not depends on which one you're getting and in terms of games it apparently comes with atari vault still even though it has as ant stream so if you're interested in paying for ant stream then by all means do that but i mean you can use that on anywhere but yeah there's not much you can do with it but at the same time there's a lot you can do with it because if you use linux linux is open but at the same time you can always just build your own linux pc but some people don't really want to build their own linux pc so let me know if that happens to be you if you're a person who doesn't want to build your own linux pc so you want this linux pc i'd be surprised if anyone was like that because i feel like anyone who's involved with linux in general would want to build their own pc or at least get involved with the raspberry pi in fact maybe that might be a thing if you're interested in this but you're not sure maybe track down a raspberry pi kind of mess with it and see what you can do with it because that's basically what you can do here except i presume that the atari vcs will be more powerful than a raspberry pi so anyways what do you guys think if you guys have anything more to add other than that it's a linux pc leave it down below yes this thing could be fake but this is a hypothetical, so let's go ahead and discuss it. Let me know down below, and if you like discussion videos much like this one, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll be back with more.